just received the worst response to a second date. Now I no longer want a date. I matched on Hinge with this really cute girl. Let's call her Emily. We had spoken for nearly two weeks every day. Phone call. Video called you name it. At 27 years old I thought this could be it. Chemistry was there and it felt effortless as she'd be hitting up my phone. So we decide to meet at a local bar. When I met her she was even more beautiful than I imagined. We ordered some drinks. I seemed to make her laugh. There were a few moments where there were silences but all in all it was a decent date. At least I thought. I text her when I got home to make sure she got home okay as she had to get the bus and it was late. After two hours she didn't reply so I shot her another text hoping she's okay and if she'd like to meet again and this was to the word her reply. Thanks for your concern and it was cool to hang out. But I'm going to be honest. I don't find you attractive whatsoever. And you were boring to be around. Maybe in future try and show a bit more personality. I give up. That was so unnecessarily cruel. Emily sucks. You dodged a bullet. Dodged a bullet my guy. However it does sound like you invested too much early on. Wow. Even if you were the most boring ass guy in the world that is a cruel and ridiculous message from her. This whole please don't be boring and please have a personality shit is everywhere in a total red flag as this person thinks the point of dating is to be entertained and these people are just generally confused about what it means to have a personality. It's not how many times you fall down. It's how many times you stand up. Instead of giving up do something about this. Work on creating some charm. And swipe on better people who aren't abrasive assholes. Also, don't spend weeks chatting and investing in someone you haven't met yet. That's how you get hurt. A couple days. Meet up. If they can't won't. Move on. Don't create a fictional relationship. And don't let some fucking rondo validate you RSELF worth. OMFG. You absolutely dodged a bullet. Who the hell says that? Don't take on board anything she said. She doesn't know you. Don't let it get you down. I'm so sorry that happened to you. This is absolutely cruel op. You certainly dodged a bullet. She is a bully. You sound like a nice, thoughtful guy. Your girl is out there Emily's reply is tasteless. You didn't deserve that and she clearly doesn't deserve your kindness and respect after that. Please don't take what she said to heart. It was a baseless point. A personality is like a flavor. Some of us like strawberry. Some like salted caramel. One is not better than the other. Just different. Also, it's impossible to really get a feel for who someone is on a first date most of the time. I know it's hard. But 27 is still plenty young. You have time. Hang in there for someone who sees and appreciates you. Yo fuck that woman. You really want to spend your life with someone who treats others that way. What an ugly person. Excellent bullet dodge. Very hurtful words. I am sure this stung. Take it as you wish but you could make it a gift to take the feedback or just consider her opinion. Just her opinion boring to her we are not always a match for everybody terrible words though. Pick yourself up and keep trying life skill you cannot let people's opinion of her dictate how. You should feel and act. Meet up earlier. I like matching on a Monday or Tuesday and meeting up that weekend. I already have four men I'm talking to who are still talking and I already suspect the disconnect. Meanwhile I've matched with three others who have already scheduled dates. I'm positive the ones still talking will make it weird when we finally meet up because they just want attention or a pen pal. My friend you dodged a bullet on that one. Sure she's pretty but she's also shallow and cruel. You want that as a partner? Oh my goodness no block her and move on. She's probably someone who's real good at flirting because she angling for something. 
Don't get into a transactional relationship. I feel bad for whatever guy manages to find himself with her. That's totally unnecessary and cruel. Like, someone saying that to someone after a date is them literally going out of their way to inflict emotional pain on you. Oh my god what a bitch. This seems unnecessarily mean to me. But I've also seen a bunch of threads on Reddit from guys saying they'd much rather have direct true feedback than a generic there is no connection message. I still stand by the no connection spark is a kinder rejection. That said, don't invest too much before you actually meet up with someone. Don't even think about responding to her. Leave her on read. She's ABTCH and did you a favor. Op. She's obviously hurting in some other way in her life and felt this was a fine text to send to someone. Bullet dodged. Did you pay? I honestly wouldn't take it personal. Some girls are on there for free food and that's all. As a woman, I can attest to this. Be thankful she told you she's not interested and that she told you why. Ignore the barb in her response. Move on. Ouch. Man that was cruel. In all honesty you dodged a bullet, if she was that mean. People who claim to be brutally honest usually enjoy the brutality more than the honesty. Keep your head up chief. She was a turd covered in glitter. Don't let her get you down. So sorry this happened to you. There was no need for her to be so cruel. That's on her not you. Yo women are ruthless these days ngl. Ladies get it together. She's an asshole. Next. Haha <laughs> another dude was just complaining about ghosting. This is the alternative. Did you wait with her for the bus or just leave her at the bus station? What a bitchy text. Some women like a power trip I guess. You were probably fine on the date. I'm sorry. Thanks her to show you she is a mean person before things have gone further. Life just gave you a gift and show you how you weren't able to see and judge her and fall for a mean person. Some people spend years to just discover their partner is a mean person. Say thanks and then block her and move on. Her judgment about you means nothing except for her. Try to observe people better and assess better their deep character before falling for them. Not easy but it is needed. Shake it off buddy. She left some backhanded feedback but feedback nonetheless. Use this as fuel. At least she didn't ghost or something. How could she have hidden this cruel side to her from you WTF? Plus, you had done video calls. So I doubt your looks were actually unattractive. It must have just been the in-person chemistry that was uncomfortable for her. That's all good man recently I started dating again had four pretty good dates but no second one. Pretty similar situation I did not bring any of them home though open mouth smile of course I didn't get response like. That two of them agreed for second date but changed mind week later. Other asked for number and ghosted open mouth smile that's all good man that's part of rejection although all of them. We're pretty honest didn't say anything about my looks just thankful and we just moved on. Well you don't know who actually sent that. But maybe it's her boyfriend or ex-boyfriend. However because you don't know you can assume that it's her. And leave it alone. The reason is that whether it's her typing to you or her boyfriend or ex typing to you. It means that she's not courteous. Or she's got a lot of drama in her life and you don't want to be involved with that either. She just showed you how covertly mean she is. You dodged a bullet. She's not worth a second thought. Go forth and find the one who is as crazy about you as you are about her. Honestly it sounds like she is a bitch who projects her own insecurities onto others. Count it as a bullet dodged and move on to the next one. 